Good morning. And here we are on the 11th day of the 11th month on Armistice Day 2020. And I turned to my book again uh, this morning. I haven't used it for a little while. And I opened it. <clears throat> and I opened it to, to this page. And it says, sometimes I worry you'll all realise I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary. God's love doesn't need us to be anything other than who we are. We are loved anyway, regardless, in spite of as we are, as we come. And I think that's an incredibly hope-filled message. I've, it's a message that we all know about. I've said it many times, I know. But in this few days when there seems to be uh, some possible light at the end of the tunnel regarding a, a functional vaccine for this awful virus that's sweeping through the world and taking lives at the moment, it seemed to me that this hope-filled message too was one that I felt I wanted to share. You don't, you, love doesn't need you to be extraordinary. And so I've got a piece of music on that uh, theme of love this morning too. And I will be at the town hall at 11 o'clock this morning for the two minute silence. And I know some of you will be on your on your doorsteps or at your windows or, or wherever. And so as we remember those whose lives were lost and those who served, I also wish you every blessing. God bless.